humans aren't born out of laying around on their asses. We've been born out of conquering a world. We're the dominant species. We built all this. We're powerful and we're beautiful and we're ready to build the next level of civilization in God's plan. But you must stop bowing to those who want to make you a victim. You must become the victor. If you love God and you want to build a pro-human future, then you are an enemy of the new world order and Satanism. They want us shut down because we have the spirit. I'm jacked into the source. I know the secret and I want to see you empowered. But you have to believe in yourself first. This is the truth and everyone knows it. Ladies and gentlemen, the video game awards are right around the corner and there is talk and speculation that Dragon Age the Veil Guard not only might be nominated for Game of the Year, shockingly enough, but it actually might win. And I'll explain to you why. First and foremost, how are winners selected for the Game Awards? Winners are determined by a blended vote between the voting jury, 90%, and public fan voting, 10%. So, your vote contributes to an infinitesimal portion of the overall selection. Really, what they do is they put it in the hands of freaks and malcontents and idiots and retards and people within the video game uh, journalism class. The Verge? Really? Uh, Pride? Yeah, Pride? So you can imagine what that is. NPR, Variety, like, this is just a polygon. These are the people that are ultimately going to be deciding Game of the Year. This is an out-of-touch and completely irrelevant way to pick Game of the Year. These people do not speak for gaming, and they do not speak for gamers. These are people that are out-of-touch, delusional, and they gave, in many cases, Dragon Age the Veil Guard a 9 or 10 out of 10, which is criminal. Gamers rejected that game, but it could be nominated and it could win because your vote is only 10%. That is outrageous. Why on earth is a, a game award show not determined by gamers? Or at the very least, why isn't it 60-40 in favor of the gamers? You're going to tell me that IGN is going to determine this? A lot of these studios, a lot of these companies were involved in a scam, a scheme to try to take Black Myth Wukong out with bad coverage because they didn't pay the DEI tax. So, how are you going to come out here and make a Game of the Year award show and have some of the most discredited and disgraceful people making this determination? It's a joke. Now, I know a lot of people are saying, well, you know, it's the, it's the Game Award show. It's not really that serious. But it is serious. Unfortunately, it is. This is a reflection of the hobby that we all enjoy. And there is nothing else currently. There is nothing else currently that even comes close to being as big as this to celebrate gaming. And I feel that it it should be, it should be up to the gamers ultimately what games win. And if you have Dragon Age the Veil Guard nominated and it wins, that is a thumb to the eye. That is a way for these freaks, these losers, to basically tell gamers, you know, we're still the ones in control. Now, ultimately, their review 
their you know their analysis their their vote it really doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things you know gamers are not going to flock out to you know go buy Dragon Age the Veilguard but if Dragon Age the Veilguard wins it basically allows the gaming industry to say oh this was game of the year and allows these studios to pump in this woke, insufferable crap and write these terrible stories and this lackluster, unimaginative, anti-consumer bullshit and say, well, yeah, we won Game of the Year. But this is, this is supposedly the jury. None of these people should be on this list. Not The Verge, not IGN, not Polygon, not PC Gamer, certainly not Pride disgusting not variety not npr not game rant like this is really embarrassing and i think what it reflects is that the gaming industry needs to reevaluate some things because if your list of jury is anyone on this list you have lost the plot these people do not represent gaming they do not have an inside pulse on what gamers actually like A lot of these are freaks. Low IQ, low value, degenerate freaks that would give Black Myth Wukong a 7 and uh, give uh, Dragon Age the Veilguard a 9 or a 10. It is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, and by the way, by the way, I wanted to mention this. At the Game Awards this year, They're including DLCs, expansion packs, and remakes and remasters. The Game Awards aims to recognize the best creative and technical work each year, irrespective of the format of that content's release. Expansion packs, new game seasons, DLCs, remakes, and remasters are eligible in all categories, if the jury deems the new creative and technical work to be worthy of a nomination. Factors such as newness of the content and its price slash value should be taken into account. So things are so bad when it comes to when it comes to gaming that these people are actually looking at DLC and new seasons of content as being up on the uh, b- being up on the pedestal to be able to be voted for so if a game comes out with a new DLC that could win that could win the category of the year for gaming that's humiliating no absolutely not remakes and remasters should not should not be up on the chopping block or i mean should not be up on the pedestal in order to be voted in. It's just, it's egregious. And it is more of the same that we've expected from the gaming industry. Let's see. I think that, and by the way, the, uh, the nominations are, the announcement is tomorrow. And I'm just sitting here going, what are we doing as a, as a hobbyist, somebody that enjoys gaming? What are we doing? The price tags for these games are astronomical. We look at we look at what they're what they're pumping out, what they're giving us, and it's almost entirely lackluster from American studios. What are we doing? Dragon Age the Veilguard may be one of the worst games of the year, but it could win Game of the Year because a bunch of freaks, a bunch of freaks <clears throat> have determined that the message is more important than anything else. Now, it could get nominated, it could win. That's the crazy thing because of the jury that's there. Do you remember when the la- <clears throat> Do you remember when The Last of Us 2 one game of the year, despite people despising that game. 
despite it being just absolutely reviled? Yeah, nobody really talks about The Last of Us 2. Because it was such a bad game, people wanted to purge it from their memory. But, it won. And I think Dragon Age the Veilguard could win as well. Not because I think it should win. Not because it has any business being there. But because these people are so tribal and so invested in their disgusting, disgusting left-wing narrative. This, this narrative and this message that they've concocted that is absolutely repugnant to most sane and decent people. These freaks will go out there and do it just to spite you. And the reality is that you get to spite them right back. Because the truth is that they can bitch and whine all they want, but Dragon Age the Veil Garden is going to be on sale probably for, I don't know, for, for Black Friday, what do you think it's going to be? Do you think it's going to be thirty nine ninety five, or do you think it's going to be twenty nine ninety five? Which one do you think it's going to be? How much of a discount do you think this game is going to be on uh, on holiday weekend? I would go with twenty nine ninety five. I think this game is going to be so heavily discounted because they need sales so badly. They need people to start playing this game. That's what they need. I don't think it's going to save them, but I think it's going to reflect the fact that this game is it, it's so abominable. It's so abominably bad. And I've heard people like Asmongold say, well, it's not that bad. But that's because Asmongold fast-forwarded through all of the dialogue, you know, just spamming the button. That That's at least what he said that he did. He said that he didn't even listen to the dialogue because he gave it a he gave it like a 6 or 7 out of 10, Asmongold did. And then every time he reacts to new dialogue from the game, He's blown away by how shockingly terrible it is. I mean, it's just like, th no, the game is a 2 out of 10. The game is, is shockingly inept, shockingly inferior, and it's made all the much more so. And my challenge to Asmongold would be this. You play Dragon Age the Veil Guard. Now, I think you should play uh, Dragon Age Origins. I think you should do it immediately. I think you should do it right now. Play Dragon Age Origins, and then you still tell me after that game if you think that Veil Guard is a 7 out of 10. Almost guarantee you that your answer will change. It is such a downgrade compared to that game that giving it a 7 out of 10 is just absolutely criminal. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that'll do it for this video. It's going to be a bit of a shorter one. But uh, yeah, uh, it absolutely could win Game of the Year, as shocking as it is. Anyway, have a great day, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll see you next time.